Hi everyone, this is Sarah Fezio, and today I am going to do a pour um, that's just paint and water. Now I've already mixed my paints up, and the top two are Artist Loft. I have deep yellow and white. The middle two are Bare Premium Plus Ultra. This is Diva Glam, and this is Majestic Blue. And the bottom two are Glidden Diamond, and this is Fresh Tangerines, one of my favorite colors. And the one on the, the left is Bright Teal, and I can't read the last word, so Bright Teal. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put any paint down on the canvas to begin with. I'm just going to fill my cup, and yes, I know it's a barbecue cup, but... I needed something larger than 14 ounces because I want to mix plenty of paint so that when I do a dirty pour flip cup, it totally covers the canvas. So I should have plenty of paint, which is what I am hoping for since I'm not putting a wet layer on the canvas. So there's no dimethicone in this. It's just paint that's been thinned down with water. So what I'm going to do is, and you can kind of see the consistency there of my paints. Maybe you can't see that. That one's a little bit harder to see. Okay, so that's the consistency of the paint. So let's get started. Now I'm going to put... I'm really wanting a lot. I don't want to tilt my canvas too much. So I'm really going to fill my cup up almost halfway. Okay. So I don't know how many ounces this cup is normally, but I'm going to start with white in the bottom. Okay. Now I'm going to put in some of my pink okay and as you can see there's no dimethicone in there or anything but right away when I put it in the white artist loft those cells appeared so now I want to use another artist loft color and I'm going to use yellow. Okay. Added that. Now I want to do a house paint. So I'm going to try to alter them. So I have yellow, pink, going to add the teal again there's more cells popping up there's it's hard to tell but there are teal cells in there with the pink now I want to put some white in oops Just throw that over there. So I have white, teal, we're going to go with blue. And orange. Okay. Oh wow, I have awesome cells in there. I want more white. And yellow. Huh, it's kind of turning a little muddy in there. Hope it doesn't come out muddy on the canvas. Teal. Let's 
some blue. I think I have plenty to cover my canvas, but I'm just going to add some more orange on there. Okay, so that cup's about halfway full. I have extra paint on the side. I'm just going to scoot this out of the way and I'm going to flip my cup over on my canvas. <gasps> that wasn't good. That's okay. I kind of spilled a little. That happens from time to time. Don't worry if it does. I could probably tilt that. Make sure you can see. There's definitely cells in here on the edge. Make sure I'm going to put it in the middle. Not wait too long, and I'm just going to lift my cup. Lots of paint. Lots of cells here. Not sure which way to I, I really I'm gonna try to get some back in that cup tried and failed okay I'm gonna go slow Okay, and there you have it. So I have all those nice cells with just my paint and water. There's a few spots on the corner that I need to touch up, but not many. I know you guys like the paint and water ones. They seem to be very popular, so I figured I'd give it another go. Now, you might wonder, how do you get cells if you're not adding any dimethicone? Well, it's the difference in the consistency of the paints. Let's see what I can find here. So I use two different types of house paint and the artist loft paint and there's some real pretty white lacing appearing here i've got pink i've got teal i have orange i have blue and if i had continued to tilt it a little bit then i would have probably got more cells because what happens is as the paint flows across as the paint flows across what happens is the different consistencies cause different, um, cause it to flow, flow differently across the canvas. All my edges are covered now and I'm just going to wipe the side. Side looks great. I can't see the other side, but if you use a mirror, you can generally see on the other side. So I have just a little bit of pink, but that's okay. I think that the design itself on there is pretty interesting. Let me um, take these gloves off and I'll take the camera down and show you guys. Okay, I've taken the autofocus off just to be able to show you. Hopefully you can see all those cells right in there, the pink. There's a little bit of brown in there, but that's okay. And 
and that's what it looks like. Some nice blue ribbons in there. And the sides are covered too. In fact, the cells, when they, when they come off, they look like that, but there's some little blue ones there. All right, so right in here is where most of the cells occurred. But like I said, if I had continued to pour it, it would look a little bit different. I have white and blue in there. Over here, I've got an orange cell with blue in it. And a nice little pink one appearing here. So I am not going to mess with it any longer. Let me give you another view. that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this. This is yet another example of paint and water and what you can get um, when it's dry. I'll post photos on my Facebook, but I got some really interesting colors. This is a nice example of paint and water cells over here. The more you vary the types of paint, uh, the more likely you are to get cells with just paint and water. So, and like I said, in this case, it was two Glidden Diamonds, two Bare Premium Plus Ultra, and two Artist Loft Colors. And as you can see, there's hardly any white in the entire painting. So, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends so they can see how to do a paint and water pour. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on the ads. That's really helping a lot. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and check the iCard for more videos. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Lots of love. Bye.